All right, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the JP Show. I am your host, JP, and this is the second half of the JP Show, part two of the, of the JP Show. So, you guys know what time it is. Topics, topics, topics! Uh, yeah! <laughs> topics, topics, topics. We want topics. We want topics. We want topics. All right, guys. So, we have topics for you today. So, we have... Is ghosting someone fair or foul? Ooh. Cougars wanting more from their cubs. <laughs> Who's writing this? Oh, it's me. <laughs> uh, and continue dating. All right, so let's get into the first topic. Is ghosting someone fair or foul? Um, I would say this, depending on the relationship. Now... I've talked I've I have talked to some women and they have told me that they've been ghosted without even knowing why they're ghosted. They'll go out they'll go out on the relationship, I mean go out on the date and date will go well and everything'll be cool and the guy would just ghost them. Like they'll never hear after the date, they'll never hear from the guy again. And I'm going to keep it a buck with you ladies. Because for the ladies, y'all having a hard time with being ghosted. Um, but I will say that this is what it feels like. For the ladies, you guys have ghosted men for years upon years upon years. So now you got, you got men that they don't mind ghosting women now. It's not all about... It's not all about the women no more. So you got guys out here now. It's like, yo, I'm, I, I, you know what I mean? Go, dudes is ghosting women, and women don't know how to deal with it because they've always been the one that been doing the ghosting. They always been the one that's been ghosting dudes. You know what I'm saying? But it's not like that no more. Now men get ghosted and women get ghosted. So my thing is. And I've talked to ladies and it's like, yo, like I'll go out on a date and the guy will be cool and we'll have a good time. We'll have fun. And then the guy would just ghost me out of no, for no reason or whatever. And so I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man, because there could be, you know, there's situations where maybe the guy got back with his ex or whatever. Or maybe he just don't know how to tell you that, you know what I'm saying? He don't really want to be involved. You know, maybe he don't want to, and not saying that he don't want to be involved with you. Maybe he just don't want to be involved and he don't really know how to say, I don't want to be involved. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought I wanted to be involved in something and then really I just find out that I don't want to be involved. You know what I'm saying? So there could be all different type of reasons why, you know, a person would go. So we would hope, we would hope that. We will want somebody to tell us, like, if we're doing something wrong or if we, we will hope, even though, you know, women say that a lot, like, if I'm doing something wrong or if you, like, just tell me or whatever, but, you know, when you go to tell them, it's something totally, totally go crazy, but um, we will hope that, you know, the lines of communication could be open and that you're able to speak and talk about if, you know, you're having some difficulties with the person or whatever to be able to talk about it, you know, then rather than just ghosting or if you're going to ghost or if you want to move on with your life, just be able to tell that person, listen, I just, I want to move on with my life. I'm not saying that I don't like you or, or I like you or don't like you or whatever the case. I just want to, you know, at this time I, I need to move on. So I don't know. I think, I think, um, and then sometimes, sometimes some people are just crazy where you got to ghost them and, 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 and get the hell away from them. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be involved. You don't want, you know, they just bring a lot of problems and a lot of, 
you know what I mean, a lot of trouble and you don't want to be involved in, in none of that. So some people, you have to ghost, you know what I'm saying? So I really think it's depending on the situation and the equation and the relationship. And I think that depends on how you ghost, who you ghost, you know what I'm saying? But ghosting is in the full effect. The one thing I hear from the ladies a lot, though, too, is that they saying that guys, they don't show consistency. Um, I don't know how real, how true that is, you know what I mean? But I am hearing that from a lot of, a lot of the females is that guys are not consistent. The one thing I will say with some of the ladies, like, if you give up the buns on the first date, there's a possibility that the guy will not call you back after the first date. Now, the, now with me, I'm going to tell you all this. With me, I don't mind you giving up the buns on the first date. You know, there's people out there that's going to say, oh, you should wait until there's a... You can't tell somebody what to do with their vagina and their, their dick. You know what I'm saying? You do whatever you want to do with your, your body parts. But what I'm saying is, is that... What I'm saying is that if you smash, if you smash for the ladies, if you smash a dude on the first date, you should be thinking in your mind that I, right, this is just going to be a, 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 a smash thing, or this is just going to, or this is just a one night thing. You shouldn't be thinking that, oh, I want to be in a relationship with him. You know what I'm saying? Because... He's probably thinking in his mind, um, yo, I smashed on the first on the first night. I smashed her out. You know what I'm saying? So I think like with women, with women, you know, they talk about consistency, but I'm just letting you know if you smashing a dude out on if you smash a dude out on the first date, don't think in your mind that oh, where like I'm not saying that you don't have a chance to be together. But in your mind, you should be thinking like, oh, this is just going to be a smash thing or this is just going to be, oh, this is just a one night thing. Because the way dudes think is like, if I smash her on the first date, then I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, like why would I be in a relationship with somebody that I smashed on the first date? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying don't smash. If you want to smash somebody on the first date, by all means, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. But, you know what I'm saying? You got to think about, you know, how maybe the guy is going to be perceived or maybe the way he's thinking that. Maybe he's thinking something. Maybe he's thinking like, yo, she uh, she smashed me on the first date, so she probably don't want nothing serious. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to have communication. It's good to talk. You know what I'm saying? About what you guys want. And, and because if you don't talk about it, if you don't if you don't have a conversation like listen, I just i I'm just looking for a friend. I'm just looking to have sex and not sit. You know what I'm saying? Like we could just have sex two, three times a week and I'm good with that. Or I'm looking for a relationship, I'm looking for something serious, I'm looking for marriage, da da da. It's good to have those conversations because then you don't really have to worry about consistency. You know where the guy is coming from and you don't really have to worry about um, being ghosted. If the guy say that he's looking for a relationship and you meet his you meet his palate, then, you know, maybe he'll take you in as his, his girl and y'all move on. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. In this day and age, it's not like it was yesteryears where... You seen a girl, you like a girl, y'all got y'all got together and you know, that was it. Y'all had a relationship. It's not like that no more. Let me tell you, I've met women. Matter of fact, excuse me, I met a, a female last year where um she gave me her number. We we you know, I met her on the streets or whatever, we was talking. She gave me her number. I called her. She never picked up, I texted her. Yo, she would text me back, but it would be like, like 10 hours later, she would text me back. I'm like, 
Like, I'll text at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. She'll text me back at 10 o'clock at night. I'm like, yo, it's all over with. Nah, I'm like, I, I wanted to do something with you, take you out. But it's fucking 10 o'clock at night. You know what I'm saying? Or she'll, like, call me. If she call me, like, say if I called her, like, I called her today, say it's Tuesday, she'll call me back, like, on Friday. Oh, I'm returning your call. Like, yo, what is what is this? Like, like sometimes women, I gotta say, like you guys make it hard for for guys to even get to know you, to even have a conversation with you. Or if I called on the phone, you know what? If I called on the phone, and I'm talking to her on the phone. I would talk to her for like two minutes, not even two minutes, like a minute. Oh, let me give you a call right back. Never call, you know, she never called back. You know what I'm saying? Or if she did call back, she'd call back three days later. It's like, yo, what are you doing? Like, believe me, I'm I'm not like, I'm not like sitting around. With, like, I have, I, I'm living my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sure why you, what's going on with you or whatever. So, women, you guys do a lot of that. And I, I really do think that it's just returning. Like, all the stuff that women do to guys... I really feel like it's just coming back right now. And women don't know how to take it because they never, they they always dished it out and they, they never had to take it. So now they have to deal with the inconsistency. They have to deal with the being ghosted. They have to deal with all this stuff. And they're like, I usually do the ghost. And that's what women say. They be like, I usually do the ghosting. Nobody, no dude ghosts me. You know what I'm saying? But in this day and era, Yes, the guys is doing the ghosting. The guys is being... You know how women back in the day was inconsistent? You don't know where they coming, when they going. What? No, not no more. Now it's the guys. The guys is inconsistent. The guys is ghosting the women. And that's crazy because you would never think that a guy would ghost a woman. But that's what's going on right now. I love it, actually. But <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Because we get ghosted. Yo, you don't know how many times... You know, not lately, but when I was younger, you don't know how many times, like, you get ghosted. You know what I'm saying? Like, or the female be inconsistent or, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know what it'd be? They'll be dating two to three different dudes at one time, so they'll be mad, inconsistent. And, and you, you're like, yo, what? You know what I'm saying? So now, the shoe is on the other foot. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Um... Cougars. Ooh, Cougars, Cougars, Cougars. We got Cougars wanting more from their Cubs. That's another, that's another, another thing that is crazy right now is that the Cougar game is, is crazy. What I see right now in the Cougar, and what I mean by Cougar is, you know, like the MILFs, the women that's, the women that's, you know, that may be older, but they still got it going on. They still doing their thing. They out here in the street and they doing what they, you know what I mean? What they, what they do. So what I, what I've been seeing is like the mills, the, the, the Cougars, they, um, they get with these young, younger guys and they be wanting more. They don't just want, I remember they, they would want, they were. <laughs> Sorry, oh gosh, here we go. Here we go with the sneezing now. <laughs> Excuse me, oh gosh, I was doing so good. And here we go. Um, The Cougars, right? So, they used to be like, they would just smash the homie out. You know what I'm saying? The young boy, the cub. They would just smash the the cub out and, and keep it moving. No no ties, no wanting to be together, you know, no scene in public. You would never be seen with your cougar in public. None of that type of stuff. They would just smash the cub and they would move on. And they would they would they would, you know what I mean? If they smash the cub once, twice a week or whatever, it would be just that. Because the cougar will really they would really want somebody their age, the female cougars. Now the males that's that's dealing with young girls, no, they 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 wifing up young girls. You know what I'm saying? But the female, the females that's with young guys, 
they don't want the young guys. They they want the sex because they know that the young guys brings the sex, but they don't want the the the, the relationship from the young guys. They want the um, relationship from maybe somebody their age, but they know that they may not get the sex from somebody their age. Maybe or maybe not, but they know with the younger guys that the younger guys pretty much is going to bring it. So that's how it was. But now, oh, no, 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 no. Not like that no more. The the Cougars now, they want to be in the relationship. Now, let's say you 50. The Cougars 50. The guy is 25. They are wanting to be in a relationship with a 25-year-old. Like, like, yo, like, are you serious? Like, how could this be? They want to, they, they want all the smoke. They want all the 